next problem if the cube roots cube roots of unity are 1 omega omega square 1 omega omega square then find the roots of the equation x minus 1 whole cube plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, the cube roots of unity are given 1 omega omega square. We have to find out the roots of x minus 1 whole cube plus 8 is equal to 0 in terms of the cube roots of unity itself only. So, here given x minus 1 whole cube plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, this can be written x minus 1 whole cube is equal to minus 8. Now, this can be written minus 2 cube or 2 cube into minus 2 cube into 1 you can write. Now, x minus 1 is equal to cube to root of this one minus 2 times 1 to the power of 1 by 3 that means cube to root 1 this is cube to root 1 what are the cube roots of 1 that is 1 omega omega square. One root will be one real root, two are imaginary roots. So, now this we can write minus 2 times 1 omega omega square. Again this we can write minus 2 2 minus 2 omega and minus 2 omega square we require to find out x value. Therefore, x is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2 omega, 1 minus 2 omega square. Therefore, the roots are minus 1 comma 1 minus 2 omega and 1 minus 2 omega square. So, the roots of x minus 1 whole cube plus 8 is equal to 0 are minus 1, 1 minus 2 omega and 1 minus 2 omega square where 1 omega omega square are the cube roots of unity. Let us go for the next problem. If 1 omega omega square are the cube roots of unity show that show that 1 minus omega plus omega square whole power 6 plus 1 plus omega minus omega square whole power 6 is equal to 128. Okay, let us solve this problem. 
So, now here 1 omega omega square are the cube roots of unity 1. We have to prove 1 minus omega plus omega square whole to the power of 6 plus 1 plus omega minus omega square whole to the power of 6 is equal to 128. So, that means take left hand side. What is the left hand side here we have? 1 minus omega plus omega square whole power 6 plus 1 plus omega minus omega square whole power 6. So, let us re rearrange the terms in the first bracket similarly in the second bracket also. So, this can be written 1 plus omega square minus omega whole power 6 plus 1 plus omega minus omega square whole power 6. See, we have 1 plus omega square is equal to minus omega, whereas 1 plus omega is equal to minus omega square. In the introduction part only we have discussed. Replace it. So, 1 plus omega square is minus omega and minus omega whole power 6 plus this is minus omega square and minus omega square whole power 6. This is minus 2 omega power 6 plus this is minus 2 omega square power 6. What is minus 2 power 6? So, 2 power 5 is 32. So, 64 this will be 64 omega power 6 plus 64 omega power 6 whole square. See this omega power 6 let us think we can write omega cube whole square. Am I correct? So, omega cube is 1. So, omega cube is 1. So, this is 1 square is equal to 1. So, omega power 6 also 1. So, that means this is 1, this is 1 square also 1. So, 64 into 1, 64 plus 64. So, this equal to 128, which equal to RHS. Fifth problem, if alpha, beta are the roots of the equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0, then prove that alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus alpha power minus 1 into beta power minus 1 is equal to 0. See alpha beta are the roots of the equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then prove that alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus alpha power minus 1 into beta power minus 1 is equal to 0. First step we have to find out alpha beta values. Second step substitute in alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus alpha power minus 1 and beta power minus 1 we get the answer. See, if you observe this equation, this quadratic equation, the roots of this quadratic equations are complex. So, that also one more thing, if you put omega, omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0. That means, omega satisfies as well as omega square will also satisfy. That means, alpha is omega, beta is omega. So, that means, solution Since alpha beta are the 
alpha beta are the roots of x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, alpha is equal to omega and beta is equal to omega square. They need not be in same order, alpha may be omega square, beta may be omega, but the roots are omega, omega square only. Now, take left hand side. So, left hand side is equal to alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus alpha power minus 1 beta power minus 1. This alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus 1 by alpha 1 by beta this is 1 by alpha beta we can write. Let us substitute alpha for omega beta for omega square. Let us see what do we get. This is equal to omega power 4 plus omega square power 4 plus 1 by omega into omega square. This is omega power 4 plus omega to the power of 8 plus 1 by omega cube. See this we know that omega cube is equal to 1. Let us find out omega to the power of 4. Omega to the power of 4 we can write omega cube into omega. So, this is omega. Now, omega to the power of 8, this we can write omega to the power of 6 into omega square. Omega power 6 is nothing but omega cube whole square that is 1, so omega square. Substituting omega power 4 is omega plus omega square plus 1 by 1 this becomes 1 plus omega plus omega square. So, this is equal to 0, this is RHS.